Hey, what's up, CGNE families? This is Pastor Sam coming to you today. I'm excited to share with you a couple of really cool opportunities. Um, so right now in this time, um, I do want to recognize, man, this is a really unique situation. I think everybody would agree on that. This whole COVID-19 is kind of shaking us all up in different ways and forms. And I think it's safe to say that everybody's situation is probably a little bit different, whether that's financial, job security, health, or whatever it might be, uh, even school being out, the e-learning stuff, or your family's going crazy. Um, so it's shaking us up in different ways and forms. And safe to say everybody's situation is slightly different. And so in this time, I want to encourage y'all, man, listen to the Spirit and do whatever God asks you to do, whether that's supporting your family, whether that's supporting the community around you in everything. I want to encourage you, man, go to God for it and do what He tells you to do. We also recognize in this current situation that there's a lot of need out there as well and great opportunity and organizations to partner with in order to meet those needs. So if you have resources to give and we're wondering how to how to get involved and, and where to give your resources, we as the engagement team have provided four tangible ways uh, to donate and to give that's going to make a great impact. I'm going to share those briefly on this video and you can see details of that on this email. So check out below. Those four different ways. The first one is through your current relationships. What we mean by that is anybody that you're already currently either supporting or organizations that you're already invested in, man, double down on those and get involved with them. Uh, continue to be the church in your community and your circles and the people that you know. And so, man, if you have extra resources to give, double down with those and continue to support who you're already supporting. Uh, the second way we want to continue to uh, or throw out there to consider would be to give to the CGNE Benevolence Fund. What that fund essentially enables us to do is to meet people where they are whenever they come to CGNE seeking financial aid. And so whether that be people within our own community, within our church, or uh, in our community in Lawrence or Indianapolis, whoever it might be, we receive requests all the time uh, for financial assistance through different crises that people are going through. And so when you give to that fund, you enable us to meet them where they are in their crisis. And it's a great way to uh, serve and support our direct community. The third one is really cool. It is through a new nonprofit called Indie Courageous Kitchen. And that was created by Josh Stoneking and Charlie Meyer. Essentially, this nonprofit is employing hospitality workers looking for jobs to create meals uh, to, to provide for the vulnerable families in India and in our communities. They actually have partnered with Outreach, who is a partner of Common Ground already, to provide meals for them as well. I've talked with Anthony Dumas, uh, who is uh, one of the directors of Outreach uh, and our elder. Uh, there is a uh, link to a video below uh, with a, a short Q&A that I did with him describing this. But Indie Courageous Kitchen and Outreach are partnered together to provide meals uh, for their homeless teens and young adults. Their goal is to provide 150 meals per week for these families and these uh, kids. And so we want to partner with them. We believe the CGNE congregation collectively as a whole, that we can not just meet a need, but exceed the need of providing $500 per week to Indie Courageous Kitchen to provide meals for outreach and the families that they need. And so that is a goal that we've set to raise and donate at least $500 per week to Courageous Kitchens for outreach. If you're interested in jumping on board with that, this is a great way to jump on board. The link is below. For more information on any of those organizations, you can check out below as well. The last opportunity I wanna share with you today is through Belzer Middle School Food Pantry. So Belzer Middle School developed a food pantry to essentially provide confidential food assistance for families in need within their community. That is a community within our own district, a school, school families within our own district, district in need of food and meals for their family and their kids. They are still open. They're still serving our community. Uh, but through some of the connections that we have, we have learned that they are in need um, and are struggling to keep up with that need. And so we have provided a link to an Amazon wish list for them below, as well as another link if you're interested more in who they are and what they do. Another great opportunity to uh, invest in the community surrounding us right now. Those are four really tangible ways uh, to get involved. If you have resources and you're looking uh, for ways to invest, please consider these four 
resources, these four avenues uh, to invest, and those are sure to make an impact in the communities that we're connected to. Uh, man, stay blessed, y'all. Uh, listen to God, do what he says, stay safe. And uh, man, excited to get with you guys soon. Peace. Mm -hmm.